Milk is a food that is really central to Americans' conceptions about nature, and it's also really an important staple food in the American diet. My name is Kendra Smith Howard, assistant professor of history at University of Albany, and I just wrote Pure and Modern Milk: An Environmental History Since 1900. At the turn of the 20th century, foods that were too natural were thought to be impure. People didn't want milk that had a barney flavor. They didn't want it to have clods of dirt in it. So they really wanted to make it more modern, more technological intervention to eliminate some of those natural hazards. But by the mid 20th century, as more of their concerns are not that milk is too natural, but milk is too infringed upon by technological interventions, the public wants milk that is more natural. What counts as pure milk really changes over the turn of the 20th century. I have a whole chapter that looks at all these different things that milk becomes. They tried developing plastics out of milk protein, they tried developing even fabrics, <laughs> everything including uh, even wood glue. This is a story about milk, but it's also very much a story that I'm telling about the farms from which it came. So the calculus that we go through when we stand at the dairy case and our head is spinning because we see all these different pictures and some have barns and some have cows and some are organic. What we see on the carton increasingly becomes how we try to understand the process that it took from farm to grocery shelf. That dizzying array of forces is something that only developed in the 20th century. And so another strand that I'm trying to tell is how the developing consumer culture changed the ways in which people relate to food.